we have cameras located at different parts of the route, we can calculate the average speed if we know the distance between cameras or the distance of the loop that the trucks are running. So we can set two sources in our research model and capture the two instances of the LPR. And I wanna show you a dashboard here in research. We'll select a dashboard called LPR traffic violations. And here in this dashboard, again, we set two sources, two cameras, which we extract LPR from. All our channels run LPR if needed on vehicles. We can set the distance between cameras, and this automatically takes into account the times in which the same license plate was spotted, calculates the time difference, and according to the distance, calculates the vehicle average speed. It also gives us situational awareness for the number of vehicles passed, the classes of the vehicles, so we can see how many trucks and van and whatever passed, and we can also see the average speed of each class. We can also see the average speed by time. So we can see that during the night, there's a very high average speed, for example. So maybe we need to employ some enforcement here or talk to the drivers on shift there. We can see the number of speeding violations. This is a full widget. You can set the maximum speed, for example, 50 miles per hour. And then we can see the number of vehicles that passed the speed limit. 